Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out InBento. This game is developed by Afterburn and published by Seven Levels and releases on July 30th, 2021 for a price of $4.99. If you do want to pick the game up, we've got a link down in the description. So what is InBento? It's a cute little um, cat-esque sushi-inspired puzzle game where you take little pieces of sushi that form a bento box and kind of try to complete various little puzzles. You do so by rotating, interacting, and playing and placing around different pieces through a variety of different options. When you first start out in the game here, you're going to be presented with a sort of filled bento boxes and then pieces that you need to use that require you to finish the puzzle that's demonstrated on the right side of your screen. So you have to make the box that you're forming match what you see on the screen to your right. It's actually a very simple but also very challenging puzzle game as you get later and later into the chapter which speaking of there's 14 chapters you're introduced with a ton of variety when it comes to how you interact and move pieces you'll be able to rotate them some pieces will overlap and delete certain pieces and you have to figure out just the right method to get everything to kind of you know fit in your box the way it's supposed to be um, the game is very simple when it comes to its controls you're pretty much just going to use your analog stick or d-pads and then a couple buttons to rotate and just maneuver things and you really just have to figure out the best way to place your pieces to get your images to match overall for five bucks this game is actually a really fun and you know interesting little unique styled puzzle game i definitely think it's worth the five dollars and it's kind of you know entertaining you're gonna play and notice that when you are going that the order and pathways that you place your pieces down to form your bento box are very important as some pieces can only be laid down in very specific ways so as you can see like the piece here with the black borders i can't rotate this piece it's locked into position so i have to figure out the best way to lay all of my pieces to be able to get my bento box to match the way it needs to be and you're going to struggle and get stuck at some times but overall there's only really one solution to finish all these puzzles and it's up to you to figure out what that solution is like i said this game is a ton of fun i have not you know managed to finish every single puzzle but i've got a good majority of them already done on my alt account and as well as my main account here and i've enjoyed every bit of it overall if you do want to pick up the game i think it's definitely worth that 4.99 if i have to give it any type of a rating or review i'll give it about a 7.5 out of 10. it is a puzzle game there's not a whole lot to do in the game but what there is to do is actually a lot of fun and i like the unique little cutesy style take on puzzle games um, if you do uh, end up picking the game up, let us know down in the comments what you think about it. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and we'll catch you next time.